verse 7 says, Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. Verse 8 is, For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaves shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Last verse is Proverbs 12, 3. A man shall not be established by wickedness, but the root of righteousness shall not be moved. You may be seated. So, if you haven't told, could tell by the verses yet, there is a, a theme here. There was a, something that just impressed upon me in my mind. It just, it wouldn't leave. So I just took that to mean we study it. That's what happens. If something doesn't leave my mind, I just study it. And just help me understand what I keep thinking and what I keep hearing. I'm thinking I'm hearing or being pressed upon me. And the question that kept coming to my mind was, where are you rooted? And I'm like, I'm not really fully understanding it. So the more I just kept praying about it and seeking after what the question may be, a, a, a memory came in place. I was like, oh, okay, well, that makes a little more sense. Last year, Hurricane Florence came by. Now, every year in September, I take a trip up to my hunt grounds, and I uh, have to do what they call, you know, we do, we do teams to, of cleaning. We take the whole month of September, and we take care of the trails. We basically go and just clear out the paths. You know, we send a couple guys with some bush hogs to take care of all the minor plants and grass, and then the majority of us are taking loppers and, and, and chainsaws and things like that, taking care of anything that fell during the summer or things that just overgrew. So guess who gets stuck in a tree about every year, every year with some loppers and a chainsaw? It's very safe. I'm sure, Na or not NASA, but uh, OSHA would love to be seeing us out there sometimes, you know, probably doing some, un well, not super unsafe, but unsafe enough where I don't want Emily to see what I'm doing. But <laughs> basically, uh, we were nearly done, <laughs> okay? Because if you remember, Florence didn't hit till the end of the month. And uh, when it came, we were almost done with everything. And it actually, when it came, we were actually evacuated out of the area. And we were, we were told to leave because in that area is high flooding and it's high winds in that general area. So we were evacuated and told not to come back till the following weekend. Hurricane Florence hit us hard. Uh, when we returned the following weekend, we had bridges on our property completely washed away. Um, it, a lot of items were damaged from the water, it was about three to four inches of water over there. Uh, just completely, because it's, it's in a valley where it's at, so it just built up and the water didn't have anywhere to go, so it just stayed there for a couple of days. So, but ultimately we had a decent amount of fallen trees all over the place. Now, anyone who's had to take apart a tree knows that is not a fun job. It's one thing from taking off tr limbs is a whole nother thing taking apart a tree. That is a full time job. So, to say least, we, we did not finish that month, everything we were supposed to. We had to take care of this tree problem. So, while we were cutting the trees with chainsaws and hauling them in our, hauling them in our tractors and pulling them with our winches from the trucks, I noticed something about each one of these trees that had fallen. The main cause of the fall was from a weak root system. Okay? Now, in the area we're at, there's a lot of clay part of the land, we own a couple acres, we actually own a lot of acres, and part of the land is uh, clay, it's a clay type of soil, and then the other part is just regular rich nutrient soil that trees thrive through, and it's, um, you know, you can see the difference. But the trees all kind of look the same, though. You know, you, you can't really tell unless you're on the soil. But the trees just from afar, they all look the same. So the cause for these roots to be weak turns out that the ground was very dense, as I said clay soil, starving the trees of the root, starving the tree's roots with basic nutrients, because the water couldn't penetrate. Neither could any nutrients get to the bottom, because earth has to continue to turn and move in order for the things to cycle, and it wasn't happening with these trees. So water, it, it, the heavy rain caused the ground to break up, because it was three to four inches. And we found out that those rains stirred up the ground so much and found out that the roots didn't go deep at all. These trees were very tall. They were growing upwards, but not downwards. 
they were only going up. So the roots couldn't support the weight that was being shifted from the winds and the rain disturbing the earth. So the tree was growing in height every year, as I said, but the roots weren't expanding to support the weight. So although the trees had fallen from the outside, it looked like they were sturdy and strong. But when they fell, you saw how weak it really was. So, church, this is a very simple but important concept of our walk with God. We must plant our spiritual trees in Christ. It is impossible for us to grow in the Lord without intertwining our spiritual roots around his word and deepening our life into his will. So, the world advertises that you can plant your tree anywhere you want in their soil. They are offering prime real estate anywhere of my choosing. They don't care as long as it's in their soil, though. I don't care where you plant it, just make sure it's on their property. It seems convincing because that's where everyone else is going, right? Seems, you know, well, let's go where the crowd's going. Trending, as the word is today. Let's follow the trend. Everyone's going that way, so let's follow that way. So, but you also look at the trees. It was deceiving for the rest of us. We didn't think they would fall. Look how big they were. Look how sturdy they looked. Look how strong. They, there's no way they're ever coming down. Well, I have some news for you, church. No matter how big they get, no matter how many decide to go that way, or how much land they try to offer, when those storms come, church, I want to be rooted in Jesus. Amen. When those heavy rains start to pour in my life, and the soil around me is being shaken and loosened, I want to be rooted in Jesus. When the winds of chaos and destruction start to blow, and I feel like I'm being torn limb from limb, I want to be rooted in Jesus. Amen. So let me ask you, church, where are you rooted? Thank you.